Hello, historical wannabe people. There's no books out there on Round Shield, so I'm going to use I-33, have a little play around with some stuff in there and have some fun and see if any of it's useful. Let's loosen up and get ready for the Halp Shield. Now, the Halp Shield, this is legit. You fall into this kind of position a lot, Round Shield sparring. Very common to come from your right shoulder and then punch with the shield, giving you that extra coverage. This one, yeah. I'd use it all the time already. It's a pretty sound technique. I like it. Uh, I wouldn't sit in it for long because you got your arms outstretched and that shit gets heavy. But what else we got? First Custodia. Yep. This one, I always, I really want it to work a lot of the time. And I always do it wrong. I always put my arm too far under my armpit. It should just be in front of my chest. But I like it. It's cool. It baits the right hand side. And if your footwork's okay, you can pull a fair bit off from there. But, you know. The third Custodia. Now, I found this one really awkward. I wasn't a fan. Because you've got such a big shield on your left hand side, it's a bit more awkward to get the blade over. Uh, I act, You'll see me keep putting the sword on my other side, which ends up the second Custodia. Actually. And that feels so much more natural. I use that a lot in sparring already. I didn't know the name of it. But yeah, uh, the third I find really awkward. But one good thing about the Custodias in general, so the first, second, and third, is they tend to flow into each other really quite well. Especially if you're just doing basic little help shield type attacks from there. So you see there, I attack from second, brings me into first pretty much. I, I mess it up afterwards, but whatever. But as you can see here, look, the weight of these shields is so much more different to a buckler. Ours are about three and a half kilograms, so they're massive. After a while, that'll just destroy your arm. So you're not keeping that thing outstretched like they're showing the manuals with the buckler. Like you, you've got to keep it close to your body if you want to fight for any length of time. So you just got to bear that in mind looking at some of these techniques. And you'll see a lot of mine. I'm pulling the shield closer because you just can't afford. You'll run out of stamina. Fourth Custodia, quite like this one. I'm doing it wrong. My arm should be a lot higher, so I'll redo this. Attacking over the arm there is awkward as fuck, so I wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend, like I did there, rolling that shield back to the left-hand side. Bam. That's a nice little attack. I pulled things like this off in sparring a fair few times. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. You sometimes find yourself in that position, so, you know, it's all good. Boom. Yep, the Langort and the Lowo underbind. I haven't got a clue what to do from there. That's really awkward with the round shield. You just don't have the speed to turn it around. Maybe you could develop it, but I don't know. Superior Langort Contrara. Now, this one's quite fun, actually. You can rest the shield on your leg, and it gives you like a nice, strong base there. Like I'll, I'll, I think the Contrarias you're supposed to move into from a guard position so i think they're just transitional i don't think you're supposed to sit there like i'm doing but this one's quite nice like i could happily move into that rest my shield whilst i'm advancing or something and there's a few attacks i can pull off there so i'm okay with that one i quite like it now this one's this one looks amazing i love it it's the underbind as a contrera now it completely defeats the whole point of protecting your hand with the shield but you can do a load of attacks from there You've got your hanging guard, so if you're trying to defend something like low or off to that right hand side, left hand side, sorry, then it's pretty good. Pretty good, I like it. A lot of movement from there. Looks amazing. <laughs> so for style points, I'll give you that. Left cover, don't know about that one. Find that really awkward. Especially attacking over that arm, you're just not doing it. So you're always going to have to come around with a roll there. Now, rolling with the shield. It's not too bad, it takes some practice. Once you get used to it, it's okay, but it does tire you out a hell of a lot more than just moving that buckler around. So you've got to take that into account. So this left guard, I found quite awkward. I like the fact that you can still cover your left whilst in a roll, so I'm going to try it out in sparring, I think. But it's okay. It's not the worst, not the best. Right cover feels a lot more natural. Again, with the left cover, you're not going to be attacking over that arm, so you've got to roll the shield. With a round shield, it's all about rolling, mate. It's all about rolling. Ignore that. That was weird. The rest of it's okay. There. 
Contrara Vidal Bogger. Now this one took me ages to get my head around. With a round shield, it's really difficult to, you know, clear the shield. This is a nice little bit I do here. Not that one. This next one, attacking around the back of the shield on the left-hand side. That's pretty good. I don't see that done very often. I'm quite, I didn't even realise I did that until I watched this video back. But that's, I actually rate that. that. That would be really useful. That stuff over the top like that, turning the shield into a, like a non-defensive position is silly. But it's, it's quite awkward. I thought at first it would be much easier to just attack straight from your third custodia. Because all of those attacks coming off that elbow are just soft and rubbish. Um, as a transitionary point, Blair, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not using it right. Don't rate it. Straight from there. Or maybe for that, round the back of the shield, it could work. So that was basically my play with a few guards, custodians. Contreras that I found in the book. Um, let me know what you guys think. Am I just being silly? Does any of it make sense? Is it worth watching? Is it worth me doing more Custodes Contreras or going over some of the ones that I royally messed up? Let me know what you think and leave your comments below. Thank you for watching and see you in a bit.